Hi everyone, welcome back to another video of Circuit Digest. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can send SMS using the ESP32 development module. Now for this tutorial, you don't need any other additional hardware. All we're going to use is the ESP32 development board along with the Circuit Digest cloud free SMS service API to send SMS using Wi-Fi. We have already done that using the Arduino Uno R4 as well as the Node MCU board. So you can also check them out if you're interested. That being said, let's get started and learn how to send SMS for IoT projects using ESP32. Now, as I mentioned earlier, all we're going to use is this ESP32 development module. You can use any version of ESP32 for that matter. This is the normal ESP32. I'm going to connect it to my computer using a Type-C cable. Now, this board has Type-C connector. So, I'm using a Type-C cable to connect it to my computer. And on my computer here, you can see the complete code that we are going to use to send SMS using the ESP32 development board. Now, before we start with the code, we have to get into Circuit Digest Cloud and do a registration, which is free, of course. So just search for Circuit Digest Cloud and get into the website. If you're using this for the first time, you can register. I have already created an account, so I'm going to log in with mine. Now, once you're logged in, you can see a lot of services available. But what we are interested in is the SMS notification API. Let's click on read more to understand quickly how this SMS API works. Now, you won't be able to send any random text messages to any phone number. There are fixed templates, but of course, you can modify the template to add your sensor values. And you have to send this SMS to a registered mobile number. You have to link your mobile number to Circuit Digest Cloud using a OTP verification. I'll show you how to do that. And you have to select between these available templates to send an SMS. For example, template ID 101 would send a message like your variable is currently at variable. This is this can be used for simple device status alert. Similar to that, there are many type of template messages. You can use any template of your choice. All you need is to note down this template ID. Now, before I do that, let me quickly go back to Circuit Digest Cloud and get into my account. And over here, as you can see, I already have an API key, but you might not have it ready. So you can use a CAPTCHA verification to get this API key. You'll be needing this key to send SMS and use other services. Now, of course, this is free, like I told you, and it is limited to 100 SMS per month, which I think is more than enough for most of hobby or even uh, pilot test applications. And then you can see I have a lot of phone numbers linked, but you can link up to three phone numbers numbers maximum to link a phone number what you have to do is uh, move down here and enter the number as of now this only supports Indian phone numbers so select any Indian phone number and then solve this captcha and then click on get OTP and it's going to send SMS to the number you have entered click on OK and if you check your mobile phone so I have my phone over here and as you can see, we have received a message from uh, Semicon saying that 6628 is my OTP. So I'm going to just use that over here and click on verify OTP to add my phone number to Circuit Digest Cloud. Now you'll be able to send any SMS to this phone number. Now, since that is done, let's get back to our code. The code is very, very simple. We are using the Wi-Fi library and then we have to connect our ESP32 to a Wi-Fi network to be able to access this API. So I'm going to connect it to this Wi-Fi network along with the password. Obviously, I'm not going to show the password. And over here, you have to input your API key. Now, the API key can be obtained from the website, which I showed earlier. So enter your API key here and then choose the template ID. Now, as mentioned earlier, you can choose any template ID from here, but I'm going to use the temperature alert just for the sake of demonstration. So my template ID will be 102 as I have entered here. Now here, enter the phone number, which is already linked with Circuit Digest Cloud. And then we have two options for variables because in the template ID, if you see over here, this is going to be a template. The temperature in variable one has reached variable two. Now over here, I'm going to hard code both these variables. I'm going to say that my variable one is warehouse and my variable two is 30. So it's going to read 
your temperature in warehouse has reached 30 degrees Celsius, please take necessary action. So obviously you can tweak this variable, you can use a DHT11 or any other temperature sensor to read the temperature value and pass it over to this variable and send it as an SMS to the mobile number. Over here we have defined a function called send SMS which is pretty simple. We're going to connect to our network over here and once it's connected we're going to use the http response and once the response if the sms is sent successfully we'll receive 200 so we'll check for the response from the website and we will print sms sent successfully so you can just reuse this function wherever you want all you have to do is read the values and call this function send sms which exactly which is exactly what we have done over here so as soon as we uh, get into the setup function we are using serial monitor to print the status of the wi-fi connection once it's connected we are going to say Wi-Fi connected and IP address if needed but you don't have to print all of these it's just for the sake of demonstration and then we have called this function called send SMS now the board I'm using here is normal ESP32 so I'm just going to look into tools and over here you can see that my board is connected to USB serial 001 and my board is ESP32 dev module now everything is fine I'm just going to click on upload and wait for the code to be uploaded Okay, so now my code is being uploaded and and it's done. So once it's uploaded, I can show you the serial monitor. You can see that it is trying to connect to the server and then finally it has printed SMS sent successfully. Now let me go back to my phone over here. And as you can see, we have received an SMS just now at 4.11. And if I open it, you can see uh, this was a previous message which I tested some time back. And right now I have received the same message. Temperature alert, the temperature in warehouse is 30 degrees Celsius. Now, just for the sake of demonstration, let me quickly change this variable to, let's say, 24.5 and click on upload again. And now the code is uploaded and again on serial monitor you can see it says sms sent successfully now if i go back to my phone let's wait for the sms to be received and here we have the new sms which says the temperature in warehouse has reached 24.5 degrees celsius so that's it guys this is how easy it is for you to send sms for your iot projects or any other projects using your esp32 you can obviously change the variables and the template id from any of these from the table we have around 15 IDs and 15 different types of messages which you can choose from and each message will have two variables where you can change the parameters that suits your project. So that's it guys. This is how easy it is to send SMS using ESP32. Hope you enjoyed watching the video and learned something useful. The complete code as well as more details on this can be found at the link in the description. Have a good day. Tata. Bye-bye.